that's a little trip, right? take big tina out today it's been a while since i hit y'all with that cold star so let's flex up flex up plan first i need coffee your boy needs some coffee i'm gonna stop at the duncan's uh i'm gonna hop on the interstate hit up uh power sports of columbia out there in front of dina and then uh, pretty much get home, get this thing installed. Hopefully I don't have too much problems getting it installed. We're talking four bolts, the light and the reflector. So what's the worst that could happen? But anyway, let's get on the road and uh, I'm gonna see y'all at the store. All right, there we go. So we got the fender, got all the pieces that I need. So hopefully the install is going to be a breeze, but we'll find out when we get to the house. So that's where we're headed now. All right, so I am in mid install of the new fender. And so, so far, you have to take off these four bolts. There's also about four, there's two of these, and there are four of these inside the fender. Uh. All right, y'all, so I am in mid install of getting this fender fixed. This is the new fender. Here's the old one, it did break. I did break it on accident trying to get these tabs out. So just to kind of follow up with you guys. The very first thing I had to do, there's these four bolts right here. They sat, you know, you can see where they were sitting at. So I, un I unbolted that first. This is what I used, 13 millimeter. Once I got that unbolted, once I got that unbolted, there is a screw here behind the yellow reflector. That's that black screw there. Then I was able to kind of loosen up the whole fender. There are two other bolts plus these that are like inside the fender. So once I got those out, now I'm kind of working on the last part, which is literally prying apart that. And that's pretty tough. Um, it's, it's taking a lot of time to unpry that. You also have your light. So you also have your front light that you need to just pull out and undo. But uh, that's kind of where we're at in the process now. So, stay tuned. so finally got the fender off. Took a little time to pry that thing apart. This is what I look like now. Time to get the new fender on, which is over there. Time to snap it back on and I'm gonna kind of take my time and try to give you step by step. That way you can kind of follow along. If you had to do this yourself, that you can kind of uh, figure it out um, once I'm putting it back on. So. So kind of working this backwards, I went on ahead and I got the light back reinstalled. That's the first step that I'm gonna do in reverse installing this. So if you want to take everything apart, then just play this video and do all these steps backwards. But um, I was just kind of focusing on trying to get it together. So I kind of forgot to go through the instructions on taking it apart. So I'm gonna give it to you pretty much in backwards. So first step, I'm gonna put this light right back on light back in kind of got the light pushed back in and set where I wanted it I started from the bottom of the fender I got this part in first kind of working to get everything lined up then I just made sure all the tabs were lined up all the way across just snapping them in and making sure it's secure the reason why I want to start from the bottom first also is not only does that help me line it up there's your wire for your light that's right in here and you want to sit that back to where the wire originally was so I wanted to make sure that was the last piece that I got set back was where that wire is supposed to be. I didn't want to pinch it or anything like that. All right, now that I have that, all that kind of snapped back in, I'm going to take my harness. Uh, here it goes. I'm going to take this again. I'm going to slide it back to where it was. And I'm going to clip it back together. I'm going to put it back together. I'm going to find my slots for my bolts. 
and I'm gonna get those bolted back in real quick. All right, y'all. So now that I have these bolts set into place, there was three of them. And the third one there. Now I'm gonna set these two bolts back into place. These are the T20 bolts that hold the light. Uh, so I'm gonna screw these back in and we're just about done. All right, coming up to the final steps here. So now that I've got it lined back up how I kinda want it to be, you can see I've got the kind of holes kind of where I want them to be. I still have another screw to set back. So right here, I have a screw. If I can get some focus, boom. Got a screw right there I need to put in. Need to put my reflector back in. And then I'm going to screw in those last four bolts. Before I put this on, I wanted to make sure that I prep the area. So I use obviously some alcohol and a wipe. I wipe the area. This is the best way to prep it to make sure there's no contaminants to make sure that this adhesive will stick. So I'm going to stick that on and I have my four bolts already hand tight. So I just need to um, go ahead and tighten them down and I think I'm going to be done. So you guys stay right. tuned. Now that I've got everything on, it's secured. Everything has been tightened. The last thing I need to do is get my reflector. And just like before, before you add anything adhesive to your uh, like to your vehicle, so like any decals or anything like that, you want to make sure you use a little bit of alcohol. So I used alcohol or wipe, prep the area, stuck it on, stuck on no problem. It is on there. So that is it. I think. I think your boy did it. Your boy did this shit. Bow. We are fixed. We are ready. We are ready to go and take another ride. I just need to clean off the wheel from some of the residue. I did not damage the bike in any way. So everything is good. Everything could just be wiped off. It's just a little dirty. Boy, oh, your boy did something good. Let's just make sure the light works. Let's make sure the light works, guys. Let's make sure the light works. So far, so good. No check engine light. No check engine light. <laughs> we did it. We did it. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, it's daytime, but uh, looks like the light's working on that side, and the light is working on that side. So we got everything installed right. That's it for now, y'all. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, it's about time to take a ride because your boy happy because we don't did that. We got that fixed. But ah.